All right, hello YouTubers. Um, it's been a while since I did a video. I wanted to do an update on the greenhouse and I wanted to do a video on the new rocket stove. So this is really a kind of a combination of uh, a greenhouse review and as you can probably see through the polycarbonate in there, uh, I've got a new rocket stove inside and we'll go in and see how that's put together in a moment. Uh, let's walk around the outside of the greenhouse real quick. You know, last year we had the plastic on it. This year we got the corrugated uh, polycarbonate. And of course we've extended the greenhouse. We started with it just being the small half here and uh, doubled up to the large half. And uh, what we did, we decided to do, if we come on around here, we had a rocket stove in it and the flue was out back. We did away with that. That's still our exhaust fan there and it's controlled by a dimmer switch so we can speed the exhaust switch. We suck the air out of there. And this is the north side of the greenhouse. And so the north side of the greenhouse has got a layer of uh, foam insulation, a layer of plywood, and then it's got uh, the corrugated on it here. And this is just some heavy duty roll roofing that we salvaged to extra roll. And so we did the roof and the uh, north side on that. And just put this uh, plastic corrugated on to uh, shed the water and keep it all good. So let's, uh, let's go inside and take a look at this stove and talk about this, this stove. Shot and so, you know, I built uh, the Bulldog Rocket fireplace and I called it a rocket. And, you know, as I think about it, I'm not sure this is what you consider a rocket stove at all. So, my question is, is does a rocket stove require downdraft and a J tube? And if that's uh, your definition of a rocket stove, then maybe this is not a rocket stove. But it does use some of the rocket stove principles. And, and what, the, what I mean by that is, there is a uh, eight inch flue that goes up to within two inches of the top up here inside this barrel. And so when that air heats up, it is causing a lot of draft there. And the other way it's like a rocket stove is there's no damper here. I don't have any uh, way to shut the air down uh, or to choke it down. And so it burns very clean. Step out, Jason, and get a shot of how clean the smoke is burning right now. So you've seen the fire in there and you can see that it's burning pretty clear right now. No smoke at all? No smoke? Good. It's working like it should. It, I mean, you can't see the fumes like we can in person on the video, but... Uh, but that's just heat plumes. And so let me tell you what this stove is. Now, if those of you who followed my channel and seen that I had the double barrel rocket stove, this is the double barrel rocket stove. What I've got is I've got a 35 gallon drum here and uh, laying on its side with a six inch pipe up through the center that comes up to this close to the top. And then this barrel over the top of that, which has got about that much clearance in there all the way around. Uh, and then we built this as a box we built out of Dura Rock and metal studs. So we just built this box out of Dura Rock and metal studs. And uh, we filled this box full of cob. So it's full of cob, probably up to about right here. Uh, we mixed the cob and the straw and the sand and the and then, of course the clay made the cob and just stuffed it down in there and then the top couple inches we put this rock on here and uh, we pour water in here and we get a little humidity coming back from this because it really dries it out in here and so this whole chunk really gets warm I mean, <laughs> and it stays warm for hours and I know it's not really necessary to uh, to tile the damn thing in the greenhouse but we had some scrap tile so we just took a hammer and busted it up. We didn't have enough of one color to do it all, so we took a and we didn't want to take the time to lay it out. So we just busted it up and uh, and tiled it. You can see the side of it too, where it's just a just a random pattern. Of what we did there, and uh, just because we had tile, we decided to go ahead and and do the shelf. It's still drying. It's not done. It needs to be wiped down, but we're still wor still working on that. And so uh, this really does do a lot of thermal mass and this is an easy way to, to do the thermal mass too because this box could just be packed full of dirt you don't have to wet the mud you don't have to do all the mixing you can just build the box and pack the earth around it and it effectively does the same thing as going through the work and mixing the cob because the greenhouse is such a small area his stove really gets it hot in here I mean it's I'm standing too close to it right now so in order to steal some more heat off the top of it we again we put a coil on top so what you got this is a 3 8 uh, copper coil it's 20 foot long it's right on top sitting on the barrel and then I put aluminum foil over the top of that and then 
just cob that on. You can see that that's still drying. So that's stealing some of the extra heat off the top of that. So we got the base getting warm. Um, we left a little space back in here because we didn't want to be completely against the uh, the thing. But you can see that's just dura rock from the inside there. And so what we got back here, stay by with me so you can see this. So what we got here is a 125 gallon cattle cattle trough. And this uh, this cattle trough, if you look inside there, Jason, you can see that it's got a just a small fish pump running in there. And you can see the water returning. And so that fish pump is pumping that water up and into that coil around that stove and then bringing it back to the 125 gallon tank. That tank's also painted black so we can get some passive solar. You can see the sun hitting it. You can see the passive solar. Now we haven't yet planted in it. We just really got done. You can see some of our herbs. We're already moving those in, uh, trying to keep those going. Um, right now it's about uh, 56 degrees outside and in here and I'm about 80 what five six degrees okay yeah help. it's about 85 six degrees in here uh, here's our fan that we put on we went put this on a on dimmer help suck some air out of here when we need to we went ahead and put put our electricity in let's just step back a little more and uh, over our biggest bed here we put a couple high pressure sodium lights and uh, so we got last year we run a couple lights and they were uh, just heat lamps to stay warm and it didn't do anything for our plants because it's not the right spectrum of light. So this year we got some high pressure sodiums. We got those wired in, got those in here switched in. Uh, we also put black plastic down in the floor and then we laid those stones and then we graveled those stones and up front here we run out of stone so it's black plastic with carpet over the top just to keep the cold from soaking into the ground. Uh, just a couple future plans. We're going to put a T right here and put a valve here. And so when we can throw this, the valve, we're going to plumb it over to this side and we're going to run sprayers off of here. So we're going to be able to take and run the water that's warm because it's got all of our thermal gain plus our heat from our stove. And after it passes through the cool, we're going to tee it off here and be able to switch the valves and run the warm water over here and actually spray our bed and transfer to the the water that's warm in the tank and actually use the soil that the plants are growing is as thermal mass as we put the warm water into the soil. So uh, that'll be kind of the next step on it. Uh, it's uh, right in the first year of November. We're going to be planting probably here, probably lettuce and stuff. We're actually waiting for it to cool off a little more. It's still just a little bit too warm in here, too much gain and we've been finishing this stove and if we was to be growing anything in here right now, it would sure be wilting. And we're pretty sure that we're going to hang a rack here in the summertime because in the summertime it gets so hot. We've looked on the internet and it says it only takes like 130, 145 maybe degrees to dehydrate fruit or to do beef jerky. So we're probably going to hang a rack in here. And with a combination with our solar gain and our wood stove, we're probably going to be able to use this as a walk-in dehydrator as well because I'm so wet right now. So, uh, and this, we just put these logs in here. It's the only thing we had. We used what we had as a barrier to uh, uh, to make the barrier for that grow bed. And that grow bed is just about four foot, and I think that's 12 foot long. So it's about 50 square foot there. Of course, there'll be starter plants up here. Um, let's step outside. So what is it? It's like the sixth or seventh of November. You know, we started these tomato plants last year at uh, December 29th, if you watch the videos. And uh, here it is in November, and uh, we've still got green tomatoes coming on this. Uh, and so I wanted, I wanted to kind of give a report on how the, how the leaves work as a growing medium. Yeah, that's a nice one there. Yeah. That's the baseball. So I wanted to give a report on the on the on the leaves as a growing medium. Last year we put leaves in here and filled it all the way up to here, and I just dug some pockets out, put some dirt, and planted some tomato plants in there, and they did just wonderfully. And so this year we've already got some leaves being brought back in here, and we're filling it up again, and we're going to we plan on doing the same thing next year. Uh, over on this side here, you can see that compost pile going there, and you can see some of those tomatoes. I mean, we still got. <laughs> Yeah, coming in there. And so 
we're just taking all the neighbor's leaves and we're going to fill it up and keep building this wall here and we're going to plant tomatoes and uh, pro produce all through here yeah good lord and uh look at those in there. yeah yeah there's a bunch of them in there uh that tomato plant was like the first experiment on this and uh, i just dug a spot out put some potting soil that tomato plant got 11 12 foot tall there <laughs> it was it was unbelievable so the leaves work a does a great job as compost there's the mascot right there okay guys well i just wanted to give you guys an update let you see the greenhouse as it, rev as it revised uh, and show you the stove uh, let me know what you think thanks for watching